or law officials to be there to help me and my family in our time of need now here out in california they make it real hard for black people to obtain a ccw but no okay okay now if i was a white guy and let's say I don't even necessarily have to be a business owner or anything like that. If I just want to be a white person, if I was a white person and I want to get a license, they would give it to me. No problem. No questions asked. I have went down there to that um, the sheriff's department in my city because that's where you get them periodically throughout year for years you guys for years family i mean for years to try to get that license just so i can i can have my insurance now i'm not the type of man that be out here causing havoc and malice on anyone that's not me that doesn't fit my profile my profile fits a person that just wants to be left the fuck alone you know what i'm saying to my own devices i don't bother nobody and i don't want nobody bothering me but back to the story though now if if they gave black a black person out here would have to get shot then they can go apply for a ccw and then actually get one because i remember my homeboy mama she had got her house broken in and they shot her in the process and she was able to get a ccw but if you're not gonna protect us don't make it illegal for us to protect our own damn selves that don't make no sense right here like it's like I don't know if they get a thrill off of seeing our people in the news, our innocent, our innocent people in the news. Now, let me throw out a couple situations. A couple years back, I don't know if this story had came out of California or a surrounding city, but this man broke in these people house using the skyline, fell all the way down. One story broke his leg, got up, got arrested for breaking and entering and then sued the people he was trying to rob. Does that sound like laws are geared to protect the righteous, the upstanding law biting citizen of America? Does that sound like laws that's going to protect us and help us? It does not. Them people got sued for so much money. That man was looking at like a hundred thousand dollars for breaking and entering. And damn. So what is that what I got to go do? Go find some rich white person breaking a house and break my arm and leg so I can get a million dollars out the deal. That doesn't seem fair and that does not seem right whatsoever. So it seems like to me, our society don't want us to protect ourselves. But if we're not able to protect ourselves, we are prey to anybody who will pick up a gun and want to commit a robbery, a murder, a theft, anything. It's like they don't even care. And the only way you can break this cycle with crime here in America is for you to arm your citizens. If all the citizens are carrying weapons, that's going to cut robbery down to zero. The only places you will catch getting robbed is banks and people that got money. You know what I'm saying? People that store a lot of money. You wouldn't see the average person being robbed in the street. Same thing with uh, 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 stolen identity, stuff like that. It's the same. It's the same principle. They went from prying on people that had everything, all the money, all the resources. Now the game is so cutthroat. Now they preying on people that don't have computers. You, you, you get your identity stole nine times out of ten. That person don't even own a damn computer. So back to this criminality here in the United States of America. Now, the only thing I can ever see the change, the course that we going through right now is for America to allow more citizens to protect themselves. Now, I'm not a crazy person. I'm not a violent person. I'm not the type of man that would use certain means to try to rob you, hurt you, or do anything to your family. But listen to me, y'all. I feel that if any person would put a gun in your face, that's disrespect. And that disrespect right there should cost somebody their life. Now, let me throw out my little situation that I was in a couple years back. I was going to my sister house and she stay in a ritzy neighborhood. I mean, it's all good houses up over there. Me, I'm, I'm a ghetto boy. I live in the hood. I live in, in the gutter. You know what I'm saying? I live with all the old, with all the poor, every, every, every bad thing that you would think of is in the area in which I live at because resources, money, you know what I'm saying? You can only pay for what you, what you can afford, right? But uh, back to this story, I was going to my sister house and a car pulled up to me on the side of my car block block me in from moving the only way i got out the situation is hitting that reverse but 
this person pulled up to my car like they was the police and start pointing guns all in my car now check this out at this time i have my kids with me because i'm trying to visit my sister now where is your law enforcement officers at where i got me and my babies in the car and people pointing guns on us now with that situation i just said right there do you think that would be enough to get to let the people over at the department clear me for ccw they don't give a fuck about black people until something bad happens then they be like oh okay well we do something now but but it's already too late now back to my conclusion of this scenario the only thing that america can do i don't give a fuck what state you live in what city i don't care the only thing that america can do to protect its citizens is let the citizens protect they damn self this is your boy fat boy fish with my story for today peace and blessings to all the people of the world